What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel here. Welcome to my channel. As you can see from the title, today's video is about me prepping for my vacation trip. So I'm actually going on vacation. It is a week and a half from right now in present time, but I'm not sure when it'll be by the time you see this video. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going on vacation and I'm going to Belize. I have a good friend of mine who is from Belize. She was going or is going home to see her family and her husband wasn't going with her. So she invited me to go uh, because it actually landed on the same week that my children are going on vacation with their dad. So I was like, why not? Let's live our best lives in Belize for a week. Why not? So I am prepping. So I need to do a few things for prepping. I've actually already like started gathering some things and I'm going to show them to you while I start prepping my actual luggage. Um, but then there's a couple of things that I need to make sure I have basically. And I know I have them um, around or I have something that I can use in the place but I really need to like write down a list of the things that I'm looking for that I need or that I know that I want for the trip um, so I can gather and make sure I have it so I don't have to like buy something at the last minute. If you don't know I am a minimalist so I try not to one buy a whole bunch of stuff when I'm just going on vacation or just buy a whole bunch of stuff in general. I want to make sure I have everything that I need at all times as much as possible as much as I can so I don't have to spend my money on extra things because all that's going to do is clutter my space in the, at the end of the day. I am realistic and I don't have a lot of things as it is so sometimes I actually do see something that I need and that is useful that I will spend my money on. But before we jump right into this video my name is Nicole Charnel and I do videos on healthy intentional living and that is just living your healthy life with intention. I'm gonna start it off with the things that I actually did purchase. I did purchase a rechargeable lighted mirror makeup mirror so it's like a small mirror the main reason I bought it was because this one is broken and I was watching another video um, a girl who was about to go on vacation and she's like she basically talked about her essentials like the things that she always has and this was one of them and I was like this makes a lot of sense because she was like okay like if you go and you're like sharing a hotel room with someone everybody has to like share a mirror and like share that space but if you have like a little vanity mirror that you can just oh pull out and you can use you know in you know sitting on the bed or wherever um that like gives you another mirror gives you what you need so I'm gonna keep this like in this packet in this box when I travel with it but anyway this is what it looks like it's from Amazon of course that sound like it broke I oh look at you okay you're cute ah. this is perfect Oh dim, bright, different ones. You get a blue one, you get an orange one, like a sunlight one. Yes, and you just get a plain one. This is cute, this is so cute, love this. So that's perfect. Like I said, the, so I have this this little vanity one. This is like a Mary Kay one, actually when I used to sell Mary Kay back in the day. And I had like extra ones, so I always use that like on my vanity, like all the time anyway. But this is also perfect because Sometimes I work at like six in the morning, I wake up and it's dark outside and I have to like use my uh, like my room lighting, which really isn't the best. So um, this will be multi-functional, multi-use, worth the money. I believe it was like $14.50 or like $15.50, something like that. So it wasn't a large amount of money, but either way, it's definitely a good purchase. So it is going to be like my everyday use as well so I'm not gonna put it in my suitcase just right now but I am going to put I'm gonna put the box in there so like when I'm going through last minute see the box and I'm like oh I need to grab this item the other thing that I purchased was a robe so this makes a lot of sense and I didn't think about this because usually I'm traveling with my family but now I'm traveling with a friend and like if we're sharing a space or even if we're just sharing a room but I have to like go to the bathroom and like someone else is in the hallway or whatever um because we're also like staying with her family like a robe and I'm just like oh yeah like so I do have a robe at home but it's like a big fluffy robe because I'm like always cold and we're going to Belize but it's like really hot there right now so um there's really no point in me like taking the actual robe that I have because it's like straight up like a wool thick robe so I also got this off of Amazon this one again was $15 but it's just like this cute little robe 
I'm gonna go ahead and take it out the package and set it aside because I am gonna put some stuff in here right now. This is the other thing that I purchased. These are luggage organizers. So that is why I'm not gonna put it in because I need to see how my luggage organizers are going to work in my suitcase. So I do have a carry-on size suitcase um, and I do plan on carrying it on and that will be like my main suitcase and then I'm also going to have like one check bag. Oh look at this. This is perfect. Like this is, ugh, I'm so excited. These are super cute um, and I'm just not sure yet how I'm going to utilize them. So that's why I was like, oh, I can't put the robe in there yet because I'm not sure which thing I'm gonna put in which little baggie. So I'm going to figure that out right now. I'm going to probably gather like the things that aren't gonna change, like my undergarments aren't gonna change. Like the things that are like set in stone. I do have some items that I purchased, like some clothes items uh, that I did purchase. Yes, I did just say that I'm a minimalist and I don't buy things. I literally buy clothes for myself two times a year and that's one when I'm gonna go on vacation and two at Christmas time. So the, it, this is my vacation time, okay? And you can hold me to it. Hold me to it. <laughs> and so um, those items are going to arrive in a couple days so I'll be able to like really go through but like the things that I already have are like my undergarments, my swim clothes, my, um, my night clothes, things like that and I can kind of like start shifting through those things and also like my toiletry stuff like how I'm going to do it because I just haven't decided it I don't think I need like another set of toiletry or anything just because I'm you know like for example my skincare my skincare is like four different things and then I have my body wash my lotion and then my makeup so it's like there's like a lot of things but then not a lot of things it's hard to explain <laughs> it's just you know, if you're a woman, you understand. But it's just like a bunch of little things. That's what it is. It's like a bunch of little things that have to go in there and I just have to figure out how they're gonna go in there. My goal is to only have this carry on and then I have another bag that I'm still going to check. But it's when I go there, it's not gonna have a lot in it because I wanna like get, get like gifts and stuff. So like if I buy something there, I have something to put it in other than my carry on. So put this aside and then I'm going to start writing lists and organizing things so that's like I said that's what I'm going to start with first I'm going to write a list of how many days um not just how many days I'm going to be there but I'm going to count how many days I'm going to be there and then say what do I need for each of those days you know to, to be able to survive like what do I want what outfit do I want like what clothes for vacation I'm thinking about the most comfortable and like what's cute you know what I'm saying like and like nothing super fancy i wear like very simple clothing so i can really mix and match my stuff and i don't have to like think about it too much but i'm going to make an outfit and i definitely don't want to be contemplating my outfit when i'm on vacation i just want to think about vacationing so um i'm going to do that as well so that way when i start to pack my bag it will be super easy so i'm going to throw on something to listen to and then we're going to get started with the list writing, super exciting. 